Welcome back to the channel my fellow AMC apes. AMC stock is finally beginning to look really 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 bullish on the technicals. So in this video I'm going to be breaking down the stock's full technical analysis, price prediction and my personal strategy of exactly where to buy and exactly how to profit off AMC stock. So with that being said all I ask in return is that you subscribe so that this video can be pushed out to more traders that need a better understanding of how to profit off the stock and if you want to learn technical analysis for your so go get my new book, A Technical Trader's Handbook on Amazon that covers a ton of advanced trading strategies to take your trading to the next level. So be sure to go get the book and let's jump into the video. All right, so jumping into technicals of AMC stock on this hourly chart, I wasn't really bullish on the stock for quite a while because as you can see, we were in this massive lower low and lower high channel, right? Even until a couple weeks back, right? Lower lows and lower highs, we were in this massive channel that we had been in for a couple months. However, recently we can see that we've now broken out above this top diagonal resistance line and now we've broken past it and we're now in fact beginning to form higher highs and higher lows, right? As you can see, higher highs and higher lows on this hourly chart. In fact, even today we can see the stock pushed up all the way up to about $38, $39 before peaking at that top diagonal resistance sign and now we're starting to pull back. So I could very well honestly see AMC stock continue trading in this channel until you know either a big squeeze to the upside or we potentially end up breaking lower. But judging by the amount of short positions that are still open and considering the fact that so many shorts can also add it during this entire drop it's very likely that this uptrend continues uh, until you know a major catalyst forces that big squeeze that a lot of bulls have been waiting for another really bullish trend that i'm liking is that volume is beginning to increase you can see that volume was getting flat starting to die down but as we started forming higher highs and higher lows and started breaking out of this channel, you can see buyers are beginning to start adding and volume is beginning to increase, as well as how the MACD is now retraced into positive territory, indicating that you know buyers are regaining that momentum. Now jumping to the daily chart, one of the biggest things in my eyes that's looking really bullish is the fact that we're forming an inverse head and shoulders. We can see we have our left shoulder, we came down, formed our head, and now our right shoulder before the ultimate breakout to the upside, right? It's simply you know, head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And our neckline for this head and shoulders going to the hourly chart is right here at about this 38.26 level. It was the previous level of resistance right over here. Even today we pushed up, turned that level into resistance. So that's our neckline point. Another reason why this is such a major level is that for a long time we were forming this massive symmetrical triangle before we ended up breaking down to the downside and so this right over here is that midpoint level of that symmetrical triangle where the break lower occurred so this was the area this is that base level that either led to the breakout lower or higher so that's why this is an area where the stock is facing major levels of resistance because it's being used as a reference point for first of all buyers taking profit but also sellers really stepping up to prevent then that big squeeze to the upside because if you think about it this is the level where the downtrend began so a lot of short sellers are bound to have their stop losses at this level that's why they're really trying to protect it and prevent a break above but if amc stock can get a nice definitive break above this 38.9 level i think amc stock could be heading a lot higher with a lot of short stop losses getting triggered so now that you get a rough understanding of the technicals let's jump into my price target and the exact strategies of where to buy where to sell all of that so right now, what I'll be looking for is for AMC stock to potentially pull back down, all the way back down to this bottom diagonal support line, which seems to be at around 35.4, 35.5. I could easily see us continuing this channel, continuing this channel, and I'd be buying into those dips. Or on the other hand, the second scenario is that we just continue pushing higher and break past this 38.3 level. If we can manage to break above 38.3, I would be looking to buy instantly. The reason being is that again, short stop losses are going to be right above this level as this is where that downtrend began. You know, we were really facing strong resistance right over here. You pushed up, you can see how selling volume spiked, right? And even today we can push up buying volume spike, but selling volume was equally high as well. So if we can break above this level, I'd be looking to buy into that. But again, 
not just a regular break. Like even today, we broke above, but we failed to close above. We need to break above, you know, turn this level into support to reclaim it. And on that follow through hires where you want to add into your position and where we then see a much bigger breakout to the upside. If I actually place in a Fibonacci retracement from this swing high all the way down to our swing low, we can see that even right now where we're facing resistance at this red line is our 76.4 Fibonacci level. But on that break higher, I think if we could set a price target of the 50 retracement, right? All the way up here, the 50 retracement at about 47.10. That's easily where I could see AMC stock head up to on this breakout higher. But a most likely scenario is a break all the way to the top of this channel. The way I like to trade channels in general and the way channels generally play out is they go from the swing low all the way up to a swing high. So we can push up, probably face some consolidation and resistance at our 50 retracement at $47. But I think we easily break out to our swing high all the way up here at about $55, $56.93 or $57 level. Essentially this area all the way up here, which also happens to be our 23.6 Fibonacci level. So swing low, to swing high and then I think that completes the massive breakout. Now that's in the scenario of AMC breaks out to the upside. What about if AMC just continues lower because let's be honest it's totally possible. Like I said this is a very strong level of resistance right over here. We could easily not end up breaking that. If we fail to break this we could gain we probably head lower. So if we break out of this lower low and lower high channel I think AMC most likely pulls back down to about $31.36 where we had support here. Support support here, support here, and find a base before the stock either then continues higher or continues even lower. So that's the technicals, that's my strategy of exactly how to trade AMC and what you should be watching out for. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you haven't already, go get my new book, A Technical Trader's Handbook on Amazon if you wanna learn a ton of advanced trading strategies to take your trading to the next level. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.